It was nice. Electric chainsaws. This is the Harbor Freight electric chainsaw. I picked it up for like 30 bucks, 35 bucks, something like that, along with their, uh, I think it's 750 watt inverter. After reading a review that suggested that the two would work together. That is, you plug the inverter into your car, you plug the uh, chainsaw into the inverter, and you have a chainsaw you can use on the road without, you know, two-stroke gas. Um, yeah, didn't work. So, the chainsaw works great, and I've used it around the yard a fair bit, but I can't really use it off the inverter because it just goes beep and shuts down. So, I started thinking, why has nobody made a 12-volt chainsaw? And I did a little research and found out that somebody had made a 12-volt chainsaw, actually two somebodies that I could find. One was a company called Tenson, um, apparently out of Portland, Oregon. They made a saw called the Mini Brute, which was 12 volt, uh, looked pretty nice, had, you know, little just gator clip leads on it. Unfortunately, they, they went out of business in the 80s. Makita made a 12 volt, but it was a battery one that used the same battery as my drill. And it was, it looks like a toy. <laughs> I think it was basically a pruning saw. And of course, they don't still make that anymore either. So, I started thinking, how hard could it be? So I've got two chainsaws here. This one works, and works well, so it's going to be spared the indignities. Now, I did a little research on the Tencent and the Makita. The Tencent used an American Bosch motor. I actually found a part number for it, but when I googled the part number, I found Jack Diddley's shit. I looked at the Makita. Now, it's a small saw, almost a toy saw, um, if a toy chainsaw was, you know, a good idea. And it looks like it's just got the same sort of motor that the cordless drill has. And honestly, at the size it was, I can see that being adequate. But, yeah, I'm not looking for a toy saw here. I'm looking for a decently sized, usable chainsaw. So, I've got a couple of options. First off, I've got this bugger. The only thing I know about it is that it came from an electric car jack. And it's 12 volt. The other one, I pulled off a mechanic scrap pile recently, and I hope I don't have to resort to this because it's a heavy son of a bitch. It's a Chrysler starter motor. The two stroke is out, and this is what drives the chain. Um, the rest of this, it's a bell, I guess. Um, there's a bearing in there. But if I knock that out, I should be able to mount this on a motor shaft and use that to run the chain. Okay, so I've got this carcass pretty well stripped down here. Still got the trigger mechanism, I'll have to rig a switch to that. I've got the oil pump on it, just so that I've got a reference for where the hole's supposed to be. I'm going to be taking that back off. I went ahead and cut the top off of this, which had the, um, the brake lever and all of that. So this is just going to be a cover onto there like so, something to allow me to uh, tighten down the blade. So, the next challenge, assuming that I'm going to use this bastard, is that I set it onto the old motor cradle. It does not um, line up to the hole quite right. It's got enough of the uh, engine support cut out. This fits through. So if I align it with the holes visible, the mounting holes here, then at least in theory I can put some kind of ring or something around here. I have a little leeway in how I bolt it up. See if that uh, gear on the end can eat a piece of flooring. The next question is how on earth I'm going to fit this thing to it. Now there's a bearing inside because this was the outer part of a clutch. So I'll need to either, you know, make that solid somehow or drive it out. Well, I've come up with a devious plan. And that plan is to machine down this shaft, these teeth, just enough 
that they approximate the diameter of this half inch head bolt. Um, of course, I don't have any proper machining equipment, so by machine, I mean um, put it in the vise, spin it up, and then go after it with a file or the grinder or something until it's right. Then pull the armature back out, put just the armature in the vise, and then use the, um, the die to thread this. I'm looking at this, and if I drive this bearing out and file down the tips of this nut, this nut will fit into here, which means I could have this whole assembly spin on. So, this needs to be 5 sixteenths. This hole is roughly 5 sixteenths, and it doesn't fit. So this is going to be my gauge, and this is going to be on my milling machine. It can only go well, right? Here it is screwed back on. Strangely though, it's got some wobble to it, which I didn't think it would have. There's something fucky going on here. I'm not sure what it is. All I can figure is that the shaft is bent. Okay, the shaft looks perfectly true, which makes sense. I mean, I laid the damn thing, but I thought I might have bent it. So, now, let's see if I've somehow gotten the thread crooked. I don't know if that's a thing that can happen. Yep, I somehow managed to get the thread crooked. I, I don't know how the hell I managed to do that. All I can figure is I ground it down too far. I think I'm going to let that one simmer on the back burner for the moment and concentrate on mounting the motor to the saw. Okay, the motor is mounted. What I need to do now is see about chain fitment. Okay, so I mocked it up. It all fits on fairly well. Obviously, I still have to sort out the wobble on this. Um, there is a new problem, though, and that's the chain is fouling on these Allen bastards. Okay, I swapped out the Allen caps for just some round-headed uh, straight blade screws, and they missed the chain. Yeah, that's off by quite a bit. Well, after staring at it for another moment, I've decided to blunder into an easier solution. Turn this over, then weld it to the nut. That way there's less of this to accidentally weld it to. I'll have to back the nut up the shaft a little bit, but that'll be easy. Okay. Shit the as good as it's gonna get, and there's an awful lot less wobble to it, so I think that was worth the effort. It might not have been worth uh, picking this thing up before it was cool, burning myself and dropping the motor, but it doesn't seem to have hurt the motor any, and um, my thumb will heal. Notice the tension seems to change a little bit. Well, because it's still got some wobble to it. Oh well. But before I go any further, I think I need to hook this thing to power and um, see if it does anything. I haven't rigged an on switch yet, so this is sketchy as fuck. underwhelming. However, I'm noticing that my uh, jumper leads are quite warm. Tells me I might have been exceeding their uh, abilities.
pulled the starter motor apart. This is the uh, armature here. You can see it's got some pretty serious windings on it. I'm inclined to just put it back together how it is and see if that would do it. Um, it would make for a very power hungry chainsaw, but I'm guessing that seeing as how this is a small gear reduction starter off of a small motor, it might still be practical if I can adapt it to the saw. <laughs> well, it's certainly got more torque, but the jumper cables are getting toasty already. That says something about its power consumption. So yeah, this doesn't really work. Um, I mean, it, it kind of works, maybe faster than I could cut it with a fish, but not much better than that. So, yeah, I could put the starter motor in it, but by the way, the, even the jumper cables were getting hot, I think I'd have a hard time wiring it. And if I was trying to run it off in my car, I think I'd end up letting the smoke out of the alternator. I did consider slamming this thing in there. This is the motor out of a 15 amp, or at least 15 amp rated, uh, Ryobi table saw, and that would be a very powerful corded chainsaw, but I don't think it would be that much better than the Harbor Freight one. If you have suggestions on how this could work better, I would love to hear them in the comments, but uh, otherwise I'm probably just going to take this thing back apart, put the motor back in the spares bin, and uh, junk all the plastic bollocks. You know, it was a fun project, and I wish it worked better than it did, but uh, oh well, maybe next time. Got other things to move on to. This should have better torque anyway. <laughs>